Harry Bologna. Uh, joined the military, uh, been, did 22 years in the military, retired Master Chief SEAL. Um, got injured in 2015 in Afghanistan. Uh, stepped on an IED and lost both my legs. Uh, that was four years ago, and for the last four years, I've been learning how to walk again and learning how to adapt. And uh, part of that was, uh, or has been, going on these hunt trips. Uh, I knew Don Shipley for the, for the last uh, 30 years. Uh, we both served in the SEAL teams together. Uh, been coming here to his place for the last couple of years, and I have to say that I think uh, hunting with Don and here uh, has been one of the most important things in my recovery. Um, you know, today I had to walk through some of the kind of the swampy and uh, rough areas and just the physical therapy of that, just learning how to walk and navigate through all of that stuff and then sit down in, in a blind. So there's that physical therapy kind of aspect of it. But I think the most important aspect is just being, uh, you know, with other warriors, other wounded warriors, other service members, other uh, great Americans that are uh, maybe didn't serve but uh, respect service members, uh, respect what our military does, understand our sacrifice, and uh, uh, want to help guys out like, like me. And um, So just sitting in a blind and sharing these stories uh, with these other guys uh, is incredibly he healing. So that's why I think um, it's, you know, doing a trip like this, coming out here hunting with the Shipleys is one of the best things we can do for, for uh, kind of that healing. next door and they see us walking down the tree line. It, it's over before it gets started. Well, we don't need it. Here we go. And then the cowboy's got to program his fucking socks. Oh, he's got his fucking Bluetooth fucking socks. Yeah. Wi-Fi socks. socks. Hey, do they make those boots for men? Yeah, they do. Awesome. Yeah. No flashlights. No, no talking while we go down there. Just try to get down to the blind. Uh, and get going. checked this morning we had mixed weather reports on how cold it was going to get last night well it got cold when they said it probably wasn't so everything's got skim ice on it i left the decoys out hoping they wouldn't frost they frosted we ran geese out of here this morning which is a good sign and i can hear a bunch of them over there which is a good sign but the weather is calm there's no wind it's calm and what's going to happen now is we got to wait till that sun gets up and starts melting the frost off of this and sometimes it's painfully slow and then when that hits one side of these birds we're gonna have to get out here and turn them all 180 degrees to try to get that frost off either way there is no goose gonna land in here with frost covered decoys that's for sure and they're not gonna move anyhow so there's a it's not all bad they're not gonna move here for a, at least another hour eight Nine, they're content, it's calm. We'll see what happens.
<laughs> I'm ready. If not everybody else is, I'm ready. canal and a towpath that went right alongside the lake and you know the old man used to hike it all the time and it was a pretty decent piece of wild land for squirrels and maybe a deer at any rate I was sitting with my back against a tree in a snowstorm one day when I saw this squirrel tail coming up the coming up the towpath it was just just bobbing just right sort of the way a squirrel goes, you know, jerking every now and then, coming up higher. So I put my gun on it and started tracking it as it came closer and closer. And finally, it sort of got up to where I could see, damn, that isn't a squirrel, that's Albert Einstein. <laughs> and I had my front bead on my Model 12 right square on his head as he came up by I me, mean, he never saw me. Uh, but no, I don't think I'd better shoot at him. <laughs> Senator, I got all three of them and they're saying that they got one. I mean, come on. Here are some decoys. Yeah. I would throw those right out off of that blind over there. Okay. Well, just, okay, just hang on, guys, please. Let me get this brief done. Help us help you. Okay, guys, everybody knows we had a little visit from the DNR. We're not ex exactly uh, screaming legal here today, but we are going to be. We will get those licenses. I've already talked to Don Webster this morning. They know there's a problem with the site and two guys can't get in so there's a problem with the site it ain't just us uh, if we turn this into world war three this morning we're going to draw an incredible amount of attention here uh, we're going to we're going to put hugh and uh, harry right over in this corner 
We're gonna put Greg and Greg right in that blind and then we're gonna put the Senator and Devin over there. It's a nice area, you can sit, you can move around, but those are gonna be the three best areas for the birds that are already coming in. Uh, move around, but you guys get some horizon under your gun barrel. If you guys are above the tree line, you're not gonna hurt anybody. But if there's a cripple on the water, communicate over there, kill that cripple. Me and Terry are gonna be over in the other cove so we don't have warrior to help retrieve those birds. And uh, one shot, yes, two shots, maybe three shots, don't even, don't do it. We'll get them up here again on us. So uh, that it, anybody got anything? Okay, I got my phone on me if there's any problems, but go on over there, sit down. Uh, legal shooting time, I think it's probably already. Yeah, we're good. How's the shooting today? Good. It's been alright. Did you right. kill yeah. a big duck? I don't know. I haven't really seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. Epic day. Epic day duck hunt. Two coming over top. Two coming over top? Yeah. Not in. Watch out in front of you and off to your left mainly. You know, so when your dad says they're at 11 o'clock, you know they're going over that way. Track them. Track them. Shoot. Matters to hit one or two coming across here, but I don't like to shoot over my neighbors. Uh, why not? Come on. Safety. <laughs> right? <laughs> Good duck That's the way to do that. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you gotta watch behind you, gotta box you guys. Box of ammo. I'll get you one. How are you doing? Good, great. Excellent. What do you need? Take care of it. Yeah, on this block is guys. With the other one. I sometimes just. Yeah, I think we've killed a few. Yep, we've killed a few. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's going really, really well. We repositioned Harry uh, to get some more shooting in. I feel terrible for that guy. Absolutely terrible. We go back a long, long way. But uh, you can forget about your troubles a little bit uh, down here shooting ducks like this. I don't know if you got them, but that's how you pump them up. And uh... oh! Oh! Yeah! Mark them down. Warrior conserves energy. Here he comes with his duck. But he is in, I mean, he knows they're there. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! How about a buster biscuit? Alright, ready? Get now. 
now. Get up and go, 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 go. Sleepy crew. <laughs> Hello. You guys won't do it, I'll do it. Yeah. Well, see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good fact. You want to shoot over your dog. You getting hungry or thirsty? I'm Porter Hopkins. Uh, I'm an old man living down here at the end of the road who's had a wonderful almost 90 year run chasing ducks and birds and rabbits and squirrels. I was paid at the age of seven to keep birds out of my grandmother's orchard and I think I learned to shoot uh, pretty much from doing that. Uh, I I'm, uh, have been a farmer, I've been a little bit of everything but at one time I even took guided parties for waterfowl and I hate to see the uh, the decline in any of our bird life or our migratory birds. Uh, this year has been a little slow, uh, maybe because of the weather, but uh, our goose season has been shortened. Uh, we're only allowed to shoot one bird, but uh, when you get to be my age, it's not so much the shooting that's fun uh, as it is uh, being with a, a group that enjoy the same things that you enjoy. and who have a, uh, a pretty nice slant on life, whatever it was they did before they got here. Our hosts uh, today are great fun. They have been uh, lifelong contributors to the betterment of this country, and I certainly believe uh, and thank them for all of their service. But uh, what they're doing now to try and help some of the guys that had bad wounds in Afghanistan or Iraq or wherever, uh, to see them out here in a duck blind is uh, really great fun and uh, as rewarding to us as it is to those who are coming here from a long way away. 
Yeah. It's good morning this morning. Uh, it got going pretty good. A lot of birds flying, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think we knocked two down each, right? Jack, yeah. we think, we know. Yeah. Swayzer's calling a couple, but I think they were ours. Um, no, it was a real good morning. Jack enjoyed himself. Yeah, right? it was fun. Made a good shot? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Not too confident on that one, but looking real forward to going back out again this afternoon and uh, very thankful yeah, for Don sure. and Diane, right? Yeah. What do yeah. we say? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Good. Well, I don't know. I've lived in Dorchester County my entire life. Met uh, Mr. Shipley three years ago, and he is changing Dorchester County for the better and uh, peace of the planet at that. I don't know. Today, yep, killed maybe. Well, we've killed one. I'll leave it at that. You can make your own count. Yeah. The six or eight of us. So I got another opportunity to uh, to come out here and visit uh, Don and Diane and uh, and uh, do a little bit of hunting too. And uh, got here Tuesday night and spent Wednesday, Thursday, Friday hunting. Today's Friday afternoon. Could not have had a better time. Um, I mean, where else can you go hunting? And you've got a couple of seals, you know, hunting with those guys. And then there's Don, which I'm not really sure he is a seal, but you know, I've got a, I've got some word out there to see if I can verify that he actually is legit. Uh, I hear that he actually went to the Mensa Hair Clinic, and that's why he's, well, anyway, that's a story for, for another day. But uh, anyway, having just a great time, you know, these people are salt of the earth people. Um, I get on the website a lot, I see, I see some just, just super people on there, just a great community. Um, and I just wish, you know, that, that, that we all could, I don't know, have a big get-together one time. And maybe they'll do that one summer where we'll all meet somewhere or meet here and just let all the members get together. Because I think we all share the same uh, morals and values and have the same views on, on life and, and everything else. And, and uh, I'm just so glad that I can be a part of it. So glad that I was invited to come shoot, to, to shoot some ducks. But if I didn't get a duck, I would be happy anyway. Just the camaraderie of everyone here. Just super people, just uh, just just better than I thought it could be. Just a super weekend. I'm just so glad that I could come. Hey, I'm uh, I'm Hugh Middleton, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a former Navy SEAL. Uh, I actually grew up pretty close to where Don and Diane's is. Uh, I grew up on the Y River in Queenstown, which is about 45 minutes from here, and I spent you know a pretty long career in the Navy, and just recently moved back up here about a year and a half ago. And I always knew I wanted to come back to the area because it is really just a, it's a magical place. I mean, not just the, the hunting and fishing and crabbing and everything else that goes on around here, but if you spend some time uh, here at, at Warriors Rest, uh, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's just an amazing place. And not only is it an amazing place, but what Don and Diane do, uh, they, they really are saints. And the fact that they bring down guys like me, uh, my friend Harry, who's down here this week is a double amputee, was a 23-year uh, career SEAL. Uh, and it's just a, it's, it's an amazing place for wounded warriors of, of any flavor, any branch, uh, any disability, you know, whatever they have going on, it's a place to be able to come and relax. And whether you shoot a bird or you don't, it, you can just sit out, look over the water, watch the sun rises and the sunsets here, and all your problems just seem to melt away. And, you know, having the hospitality, especially from Diane and her amazing cooking and food, and Don working the hunts and, and fishing, you never have anything to worry about except recovery, um, emotionally, mentally. Um, you, you come here a certain type of person and you leave here completely different. Um, it's, it's a place to take all your kind of worry, you know, your worries away, and uh, and just forget about whatever you have wrong with you. And, and the other important thing is, is that there's always people here who are like you. So you can come and talk. You, you, people understand what's going on, and you just you, know, you can can get your emotions out. Nobody cares if anybody cries. You can laugh a lot, and um, you know it's just it's just a super place to be able to come and relax and heal. That's the most important thing. And I can't say enough about what the Shipleys do and the amount of time, the amount of effort, 
just to make sure that everybody has a good time and they just take care of everybody and it's just an amazing, an amazing place. Well, it's the end of another fantastic season. Uh, we've got one more hunt this weekend. Um, it's the a, youth hunt. The youth hunt, Don's favorite one with the young boys. Uh, and so then after Saturday, we're finished with the hunting for the year and we'll just start prepping for next year. But the summer is when we have the families come down. So this year we've had a ton of wounded warriors down. We've had a bunch of seal wives down, bunch of kids down, um, jet skiing and boating and swimming. Oyster eating, crab yeah, eating and everything else. So it's been, a, it's been a great year. Uh, but I am tired. I'm ready for a little bit of a break. How about you? No? <laughs> we just wanted to say quickly how much we appreciate the support. We do some really good things down here with that support. We work very hard as evident by the video and the body count of geese and ducks around here. And uh, Diane's cooking. Everybody left out of here with birds and uh, a couple extra pounds on their bellies. So, thanks. It's been a great season. Thank you all so much for everything. We really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna throw a bone to Terry. <laughs> I guess not. I guess Terry doesn't get his. It went right over her head. No, Terry, uh, Terry's our web designer. We've worked together for years and years and he just comes down and um, when he can and gets the best footage because it's impossible to get the footage when you're blind and you're calling the geese and you're uh, watching the guns and everything so we could never do it without terry he's fantastic uh if anybody needs a website terry young's your guy get up here fetch get up here buddy let's go get up here get up here and say hello these warrior the star of the show and all those retrieves all those birds he fantastically retrieved and some tough ones. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot.